loud music only, not just by volume, but by truth. You're watching Loud Music Only, and I'm your host, A.T. Bianco. Last week, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack dropped their long-awaited album called An Evening with Silk Sonic. This dynamic duo is the collaboration we didn't know we needed, bringing back the nostalgic era of 1960s and 70s funk and soul, while adding in influences of R&B and hip hop as well. This whole album sounds like the perfect soundtrack to a movie or maybe even a Broadway musical. We're gonna take a look at the creation of Silk Sonic and their new album that is in clear contention for album of the year. Who y'all came to see tonight? Who gon' get the ladies feeling something? Ooh, we gon' lock this groove in tight. Back in March, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack announced that they've made an album together and presented their group as Silk Sonic. Funkadelic musician Bootsy Collins hosted the album and actually gave the group their name. With music lovers all over pleasantly surprised, the debut of Silk Sonic was announced, and within a few weeks, we had the first glimpse of what this duo would sound like with their hit single, Leave the Door Open. So you what guys, is it gonna, what's it gonna sound like? Give us like the vibe of it. Like give us like, if you had to describe it in a few words. Nah. Nah. You gotta chill. You got to relax, mama. Okay. okay. You got a mimosa over there somewhere? Yeah. Some, so some, can some, I some have some wire? You wearing a wire? Smoking Out the Window is another highlighted single that was released just a week before the album release. The rollout for this album was 60s and 70s luxury theme. Not tacky, but classy. It fits the aesthetic of both artists as this album is presented a lot like a live concert or a funny movie, with their matching silk suits, choreographed dances, flashy jewelry, and cigarettes while performing. It's funny to watch because they are so great at reenacting this era of music. The next track to discuss is called 777. If gambling was a song, this is what it would sound like. It sounds like it could be the soundtrack to a fun night in Vegas, with this duo both trading rhymes while talking about rolling the dice for big money. You know how there are songs that make you want to dance and sing like an absolute idiot while holding an imaginary microphone? Well, this next track called After Last Night has that same effect on me. Its theme is pretty straightforward. The song is about hooking up with someone and then catching feelings, except this time the feelings are expressed through a 1970s funkadelic soul tune. It's actually hilarious how well they perform this track because although both Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack are kind of playing these alter ego type characters, every detail down to how they sing reminds you of the style of funk and soul. What'd you do? After last night, I think I'm in love with you. Oh shit, we're filming? Another reason as to why Silk Sonic should be appreciated is because they did an excellent job at paying homage to the music legends of 60s and 70s funk and soul, with the godfather of soul, James Brown, being a clear influence for their choice of melodies and lyrical delivery. You know how James Brown used to say things like, hit me, or yell gibberish at his band before the song started? Well, you can hear that same habit from Anderson Pack from their track, Fly As Me. He ignites energy into this song by doing his best James Brown impression right before his verse. Give this a quick listen. One, two, make you wanna, uh. Okay, 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 now have you ever been with a player? Take you downtown where they treat me like the mayor. Take you to the crib where you take it upstairs. What's upstairs? Shit, I'ma show you later. Don't eat a spatula, everything catered. Extra flavor, go ahead. Sprinkle some truffle on your mashed potatoes. I'm trying to love you. Is you gonna love me back? Silk Sonic started from these two musical icons bonding over their favorite funk and soul music while in the studio. It's their best impression of the music that they're most influenced by, as this album makes you feel something music lovers haven't felt in so long. I think it's a necessary moment in music. While Bruno Mars reminds us that he's still got it, 
and Anderson Pack shows us that he's been waiting to bring back the funkadelic soul to popular music for a while. An Evening with Silk Sonic is an album that you could play at family gatherings without anyone telling you to shut that shit off. And most importantly, it's an album that bridges the generational gap between music lovers of all ages. With Loud Music Only, I'm your host AT Bianco. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below, and thanks for watching. Hey.